Red FM's FIFO Life. Big Al here with you now, joined by Alex from Chesswork Group. How are you, mate? I'm very well, Alan. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm looking at what we're going to be talking about today, paying principal and interest uh, on your loans. Now, my mum taught me that don't ever just pay the interest. You've always got to pay more off than just the interest, or that's the way the bank wins. Uh, you got some tips for me, right? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that your mum wasn't wrong, mm-hmm. uh, and that's if you've got your own home. So if you've got your own home and that's the only property that you've got, then definitely pay off principal and interest, pay it down as fast as you can uh, because you don't want to be stuck in that loan for 30 years. Definitely not. Mm-hmm. However, if you've gone out and bought an investment property and you still have a home loan, then this is one of the mistakes I see so often is that they'll go out and buy the investment property and then they'll put that loan on principal and interest as well. Now, ultimately, there's two types of debt. There's good debt and there's bad debt, right? Well, ultimately, they're all bad debts. Yeah. But good debt is any debt that you've got a tax incentive on. So if you buy an investment property, all the interest repayments on that investment property are tax deductible. Okay. So, but if you buy your own home, none of those interest repayments are tax deductible. So which one would you like to pay off first, the good debt or the bad debt? Mm, it's okay. pretty straightforward. You yeah, yeah. pay off the bad debt. So home loan, personal loan, car loans, you know, loans on your jet skis or yeah, you know, yeah, ranges, yeah. you've got to pay them off as fast as you can. However, if you buy an investment property and you've still got all those other loans, then just put that on principal. Uh, sorry, put that on interest only. Mm-hmm. And then, if you've got any, if you've got any extra money that you could have put towards paying principal and interest on investment property, divert that back to your own home loan. Okay. Pay that off first. That's priority number one. Now, obviously, if you don't have any other debts, and uh, you've paid off your home or you're rent vesting, where you you know renting and you just have investment properties, then sure, you know, it, it pay off principal and interest on on those um, investments. But even then. I would say to you that what might be even a better decision is getting an offset account attached to those investment uh, loans and then let the, and still pay just interest only and let that money accumulate. And then once you've got enough money in that get offset another account, property? get another property. Yeah, okay, cool. That's really smart. You, you, you've told it very, very simply for me, I feel like. Oh, thank even you. Even I understand it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and, and these little tips, you know, when you're not really looking at it all the time and you're not really putting the thought into it and you just – this is the thing. More often than not, you, you're caught up with the emotion of buying the property. So mm. you bought that investment property and you're like, yes, oh, yep. awesome. And then getting the loan and all, it's really just a, a formality. You're just kind of like, okay, where do I sign? What do yeah. I need to do and yep. you're just not really thinking about the structure of you know how to how to structure it the best way in order to you know maximize your wealth potential mm. so i mean the other thing is if you've got enough money to pay principal and interest on an investment property you know then maybe you know for example if, if you could pay another 200 dollars a week to you know pay principal and interest like pay the principal as well as interest on an investment property well if, if the idea is to buy and hold as many assets as you can that are going up in value, well, you could divert that two hundred dollars to go and buy and hold another asset. Yeah, you know. So if you've got a property worth, you know, four hundred thousand, let's say, and in ten years that doubles to eight, wouldn't you prefer to have two or three properties that, that are all doubling? They're all doubling, absolutely. Rather than you know paying principal and interest in that ten years and then and just owning two hundred of the four hundred and then you've got it gone to eight so you own yeah yeah that makes yeah hundred percent perfect sense yeah there we go where was this in school why are we learning about algebra and not about <laughs> stuff that matters it's, jeez that and that's the problem that they don't teach this stuff in schools no, you know no and, but that's all right you get to teach us so that's cool and if people want to learn more they can actually download the free ebook yes um, uh, by all means get onto the website www chessworkgroup.com.au uh, it's on the front page there you can see the ebook is available put in your details and we'll send out the free ebook excellent it's got tips like that and many many more thanks for the chat this morning thank you so much Alex from Chesswork Group the website once again chessworkgroup.com.au that brings an end to Fire for Life for today uh, see you later take care <laughs>